Hi guys, just want to show you a quick video on how these Jira issue filters uh, get created. So for example, this is what we're going to create. On the ICF, um, ICEF Miami page, we want to see what is in the task list, right? So uh, we can create this little uh, widget, they call it and put it on a page and it's probably a good idea I think to have it have one of these things on the home page of, of everywhere um, of, each, <laughs> of each project so that uh, at a glance at a single visit you can see what's on the task list and, and who it's assigned to or who's the reporter <clears> or <throat> whatever uh, so first here here's how it's done the first thing you <clears throat> need to do <clears throat> is really go into Jira. This is where um, this is where things uh, happen. So we're going to we're going to create an FLC Dyned uh, overview um, filter. So here's how you do that. You can go to um, Oh, what do you do? You go issue, you go search for issues, and you can select your project. So in this case, we want the FLC Dynad ESL pro program. We want all the statuses that are not done, I guess. You could make it whatever you want. Um, you can set the type, like for example, I uh, maybe we only wanted to see improvements in our Confluence page or anything that was a new feature or something like that. But anyway, you can create your filters here, who it's assigned to, if it has any particular text or whatever that you want to have. Um, I happen to know that we only have one task in this project, so it came up with our one task. We're going to hit save as. And we're going to call this FLC Dyned um, uh, uh, General uh, Filter. And we hit Submit. And then we're done. So quite easily, you can go over here and just grab this link. <coughs> um, one other thing you might want to do is hit details, edit permissions. Now, when you have the link, it is not true um, that uh, it is not true that um, only you have access to it. But I would go in here and do it just to make sure. So I'm going to share this with everyone who already has access to the FLC uh, Dynad project, and hit save. Okay, so now that that filter is available to everybody. So over here, we need to go into our FLC uh, Dynad space. Right here, we have, uh, we already have a little thing. Um, oh yeah, that's why. Uh, but here's, here's how you add it. So anyway, you go edit, find, um, um, Find the place that you want to put it, and you can either hit insert, and you'll do the Jira issue filter, and then you can just paste that link that you have in there, and hit insert, and then you're done. Uh, you could save it right now and, and be done, or I'll show you the shortcut way is to use the curly brackets, and um, go open macro browser, Jira. I mean, it might actually be faster to do it uh, through that shortcut or through the uh, menu. But anyway, that's how you do that. Um, I don't notify my watchers of changes, so uncheck that. I also haven't been marking my changes, but I guess I could say added uh, issue filter. And just hit save. And then there you have it. <clears throat> um, yeah, there you have it. So that's that. Enjoy.